It's Beer Song Festival coming to Kings Island this week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. One of the performers that will be there is David Crowder. He goes by Crowder, and we have got him on the phone lines. Hello. Good morning. Well, howdy. We're excited to get there. Yeah, totally excited. Now, is uh, this the first time you've done Spirit Song, or have you uh, been there before? I have been there before, uh, and, and just uh, like I said, I can't wait to get back. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun, and, uh, and I'm a Kings Island fan, too. From like childhood, I had a family lived in Kentucky, and so we get to go over to Kings Island and, uh, as a kid. That, that beast roller coaster, that was about the scariest thing I thought had been made by humans. I would uh, totally agree, because that scared me to death when I wrote it for the first time, and I said, never again. <laughs> <laughs> well, it kept us coming back. We, we, we were a fan of, uh, I guess, the fear. So you like coasters, you like to be scared, like to be whipped around and all that? Yes. It's, uh, yes. The Son of Beast might be a little bit, that, that one's a little bit rough. Feels like you're in a fight, you know, that, that, that uh, might not be the best idea. But uh, other than other than the the rough ride, I, I, I'm into it. I like the I like the fear. I guess is what it is. You know, you survive, <laughs> live to tell about it, and you feel like heroic. There you go, Crowder the hero, the conquering hero. Woohoo! <laughs> you did what millions do every year. <laughs> exactly, and I mean, you haven't been a stranger to this, so you kind of know how it goes. Um, I imagine, because we've heard this from a lot of artists, you know, who, who go on these, you know, particular tours, and they're out there with all these different people. So it's probably like a family reunion for you. That's one of the reasons I love the summers, because you get to be around other bands. You know, lots of times during the year, you're out on the tour, and it's just a few of you. And, and, and in the summertime, all these festivals, you get to kind of catch up with your peers and see what they've been up to. And so, yeah, we'll have, uh, we'll have a lot of good friends that um, we'll be hanging out with all day there. It's going to be fun. Who do you like going out and performing with? Is there like you know a particular group, a particular artist that you just love hanging out with and performing with? Um, well, I, 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 yes. <laughs> I, 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 there's not only, I can't think of anybody that comes to mind that I just don't like their presence. <laughs> Thank goodness <laughs> we have a lot of really nice folks getting to make music and, and help the church sing. But I've got some, but like Chris Stiles has probably been one of the dudes I've been around for the longest. Uh, we both grew up in Texas and. He, shoot, he was leading music for, like, camps I'd go to uh, back in the day. And, uh, so he's he's obviously a favorite because we got that Texas. Uh, kind of grew up in the same area. Uh, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of things in common. Plus, we were part of that passion uh, conference thing. It's a bunch of college kids that get together every year. And, and uh, we just got history. So I love being around that guy for sure. And, of course, singing all his songs in church every Sunday. He doesn't, doesn't hurt it as well. Yeah, well, we sing your your songs too, though. <laughs> <laughs> See, I got good. Uh, I got a good peer set. Yeah, you're like rubbing off on me. Good That's company. All stuff magic rubs, rubs off on me. <laughs> um, yeah, and we we've noticed that you've been doing a lot of collaborations with different artists too. Is there someone out there though that like you haven't done a collaboration with, but that would be like totally on the top of your list? Like, okay, I want this person. Like, you know, my next record, I want this person. Who would you say? <laughs> I have been. I want to work with John Foreman so badly. I think he's just the gem of a human. And uh, that, and us in Switchfoot, we've just never gotten together and done anything. And over the years, it's just never been a, a you know pass or just uh, always headed in different directions. So uh, that for sure is like way up at the top of the list. Writing with John Foreman sounds just like about the best hoot you could ever have. I, I think that would be a, a, a real fun thing. We're going to have to, like, pressure your, your people, yeah, like you your go. promotions She's people, your labels stuff. and yeah. stuff like that. Make this happen, and then to boot, a tour with you guys. That there would you, be perfect. Tour day compadres, yeah. like you guys and them, and then, you know, exactly. maybe Need to Breed thrown in or somebody else, you know, for good measure. There you are. The Need to Breed <laughs> guys, they're, they're up at the top, too. I love those two. They're, they're a good folk. Yeah. Once again, we're talking to David Crowder of Crowder, and I'm going to be at Spirit Sound Festival. It's happening this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yes, FM will be out there. Hey, David, let's talk about your latest album, American Prodigal. How has that been doing? Oh, we've just had the best time ever with it. It's, it's only the second. It's the second album from this, uh, you know, solo endeavor that I'm, I'm in the middle of right now, and uh, I just couldn't be happy with it. And speaking of collaborations, there's a uh, a few of my good friends are part of it, and um, you know Tadashi and and KB. They got they got that one one six thing happening. Once I got to the Atlanta, Georgia, one one six just started rubbing off on me. And uh, you know with Lecrae and that Reach Records thing that they got going on, and, 
Uh, so they've gotten to be good friends with uh, all those guys over there, and it's fun to have have a little bit of that hometown APL on on uh, this. So this is the uh, the first the first record I was calling. It sounded like you know a folktronica was what I was going for. It's like a lot of banjos and fiddles, and right up next to like some electronic music and. And um, and that was on the neon steeple deal. And this is this one's a little more southern. This is a little more swamp pop, is how I describe it. Like sweet tea and gasoline. It's, got, it's aggressive, way fun. Um, boy, it does have some some southern swamp to it. So oh, I, I've yeah. been having the best time ever playing playing all these songs out and about. And so again, can't wait to get there. And, and uh, it's just fun when a bunch of people get together, we start singing to God. It just doesn't get much better than that. Yeah. Oh, I tell you what, that album, yeah, it's got that, that southern, like, you know, Texan, you know, dirty south, the swamp, you call it swamp pop? I love it. I love it. That's perfect. <laughs> well, we're having a good time with it, that's for sure. That's great. Um, I mean, obviously, I, I've been able to, to listen to the whole album, and so I kind of, you know, picked up on, on the theme and the message that you wanted to convey, but maybe people who are, you know, just kind of discovering you for the first time or discovering this particular album, uh, what kind of a message did you want to convey? I mean, American Prodigal, that that opens up a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, we were kind of we were working on this thing before, um, well before we had a, you know, nobody could, could have told you that that our uh, you know political and election season would be going the way it went, uh, which is you know, it, it's created a lot of conversation, I guess you'd say. Uh, and I think that the fun thing for me is to just try to look at um, uh, something that transcends these uh, the, the stuff that's bringing us down. And I think, I, I look at Instagram feeds and, and, and Facebook feeds, and I'm like, man, when do we stop taking pictures of, like, just our food? <laughs> why, <laughs> why, why you got to bring me down so much? Um, I just feel like there's so much more that we have in common than, than the stuff that separates us. And I think when we start trying to follow this person, Jesus, that we read of in Scripture, and one of the first things you're going to run into is loving your neighbor as yourself would be one of the best ways we could uh, display what what grace has done in our in our hearts. And once you get to know, you know, put a name to your neighbor, uh, all of a sudden you can start seeing from um, other folks' perspectives, and and uh, it sure does. I, I just think that, the, that, like I said, there's a lot of conversations that transcend the ones that we find ourselves in so often. And for me, that's that's the story of God. That's grace. It's rescue. And it's uh, you know, how do we love well? given what Jesus has done for us. And that makes it really simple. <laughs> it sure does make it less complicated than it seems to be most days. You know, you tend to overcomplicate things when we don't need to. <laughs> yeah. Once again, we're talking to David Crowder of Crowder, and uh, American Prodigal is the name of the latest uh, album from him. He'll be at Spirit Sound Festival, and Spirit Sound once again taking place Kings Island this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. All right, so David, one of the songs that we've been playing, and we're like, what is this? It was like we were blown away by it. Song called Prove It with your boy KB. Can you tell us about that song before we let you go and play it? Oh, absolutely. Now, that's, you, see, you see, there you go. That one one six thing is yep. coming strong. That's one of my favorite songs to play live, too. It is just like a stadium rock anthem or something. And, and uh, again, it's... It's ta- it's trying to transcend the conversations that we find ourselves in um, when we when we're talking about uh, um, the col- our cultural differences and and it turns out every human that's ever stepped foot on the planet is a, there's a separation from uh, the, our maker that has to be that, that divide has to be um, spanned and 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 to to have rescue and freedom uh, in in light of what Christ has done for us that's something to sing about and I think K- man I think KB. Um, could not have put words together more eloquently than he does on this, this thing to express uh, what it means to, to find freedom in Christ. And I just, ah, oh, it's, it's amazing. It's a, it is a foot stomping rock for sure. Definitely. Once again, we're talking to David Crowder of Crowder, going to be at Spirit Song Festival, talking about Spirit Song and his latest album. Hey, David, if people wanted to find out more about you and your music, I'm sure you're all over social media. So uh, hit us up with uh, where we can find you. Well, everything's everything's Crowder music, and so that would be the only little twist to the thing. But it's the Instagram feed, I think it might bring me as much joy as anything else that I get to. I, I have a good time with it. And so if you want any kind of uh, levity in life, you might want to check out that, uh, that Crowder music Instagram. It's, it's uh, It makes me laugh anyway. I have a good time with oh, it. We laugh, too. We've seen some of it. We're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hoot. 
It's a lot of fun. Well, hey, we appreciate you taking some time out of your schedule, and um, we wish you all the best in future endeavors. Look forward to uh, maybe even uh, you know hanging out, or at least uh, getting a chance to say hi to you uh, this coming uh, end of the week and weekend. Awesome. We can't wait to get there, like I said, and thanks for including me here, and we'll see you soon. Absolutely.